hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to generate a qr code in golang so uh, the goal is to show an example how to use a, a package qr barcode package and create a web application so we would need to install this barcode package so what we can do is go get github.com slash bombular slash barcode slash qr so you have to run this i have already installed mine you can go ahead and install yours so once we have that we are good to start writing the code so what we have to do is we have to create a structure type let's call it as page type title as string and we'll have two functions first function call it as home page let's it be uh, response writer or http request and now in this we'll have a variable p equals to page this is the title so qr code generator equals to template template dot pass file so here we are going to pass a file where we have to call a generator dot html whatever we are doing here we have to create a html file then we can have t dot execute a comma p now we can have our second function we can call it as um, code page or anything we want http dot response writer http dot request in this we can have a uh, data string uh, you can again you can call anything you want here Four dot form value that as data string then we this are this is the most important syntax for for qr qr Word equals to qr dot encode the data string comma qr dot l comma qr dot auto then we can have this is the second syntax equals to barcode dot scale qr code 512 comma 512 then we can have a png page so this png image will display the bar qr code now we only have the main function in the main function we can have uh, stdp handle dot func and func in that we can have what was the name for the first function we have done home page stdp dot generator 
got what was the name given code page and then we can call our port http sir dissonance self can call whatever port we want i'm um, i like 880 so i'll create 880 and now we need to create a generator.html and we'll keep it very basic like the i'll have a reference can call it as item Okay, title. I think that's what we have given. Yeah, title. Mm -hmm. Then please enter the string you want to our code. Then we can have a form equals to generator slash method equals to post. Then we can have in this we can have two quotes. First input can be typed equals to text. name equals to and data string input type equals to submit name equals to submit yeah, close okay okay so by default uh, since i've already installed so best thing about visual studio is automatically imports all the required thing so i suggest everybody to use uh, visual studio go run main dot go allow access you can go ahead and see okay man is already running localhost 880 whatever you want can submit oh it's not going so let me go ahead and check i would have missed something in the code did i do code generator did I spell something wrong? Maybe I would have spelled something wrong. Form title, yeah, generators, those data string, yeah, that's correct. I think it means something. Ah, okay, I think value. Now let's run this. Go then in dot go. Let's put some quotes. Ah, there you go. So this is the QR code it generated. So if you go back again and type something different, it will generate a new QR code. So that's how you can create a QR code using a package in the web page. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my videos, do like, share and comment. And do let me know if I have to make any changes or if you are not understanding anything. Uh, please put that in the comment. Thank you.